on an excavator backhoe using Pilot Hydraulic System to help install for the IDIG best. You have cylinders that retract and extend. You have hoses or lines that go from those cylinders, uh, each one of them, to a manifold valve body. This valve body looks something like this. They, they all look like a big mess when you look at them, but uh, this is the basic concept. We have uh, pilot hydraulics that go to joysticks. In the old days, you just had a lever you pulled up and down, which moved a spool up and down that shifted the hydraulic fluid to move and extend and retract the cylinders. So your system has a pump. There's a pressure line coming out of the pump that goes into the manifold valve and if the manifold valve is not being used it goes right back to the tank. Pump draws back out of the tank again runs a circle continuously. When we call to move something like the boom in this case we move a joystick. The joystick brings pressure down and moves the spool uh, proportionally to however hard you want to open this valve to let the fluid go in this way and then come back that way stealing whatever it needs from the tank and pump system that's circulating therefore moving ex extending or retracting the cylinder there's a pilot pump that's a little pump usually on the end of the pumps some of them do different ways but this is the basics uh, the pilot pumps a lot lower pressure maybe 500 pounds give or take and it's got little 3 8 quarter inch lines that run to your joystick. And from your joystick, it also has, it ties both of them together. Then you have a tank line that comes back and just taps into the tank. So it's its own little circulating deal also. It's uh, just pilot pressure. And they call it pilot because they run the pilot joysticks or pilot. Uh, it's like power steering. Or if you're an electrician, it's like a contact or a relay. This system here, it's taking small power or small pressure in this case so you can smoothly control it running big pressure. So it's pretty easy if you really look at it. Uh, if you follow your bucket lines down, if you can see them, you can follow them down to the manifold here and you can unscrew a pilot line on the top or bottom if you're guessing that's the bucket. When you move the joystick left or right, one way or another it will squirt. These don't run continuous here, they just provide pressure to push this little spool up and down, this little piston. So to find your uh, bucket, if you can't trace the lines back and find this, which it's complicated uh, in some mini excavators, it's really hard to get into, you can just start taking off lines on the top and you can hit the joystick one way or the other and it'll squirt out a little bit of oil. Uh, nothing massive, just a Squirt into a cup, squirt it in air, whatever you want to do. You'll want to mark the dump on the bucket, and you'll want to mark the curl on the bucket. That's going to be the bucket control. I will show that tied in in just a minute. Uh, then you're going to want to look for your main boom, and you've got a line that's for down. If you can follow that, you see we've got it here, and you can unscrew your pilot. Uh, line and you can move it doesn't matter which way these are we're at the pilot so if you've got John Deere or pond digger or backhoe you call it or uh, the other control is standard cat or whatever you want to call it where your boom and dipper switch it's irrelevant I'm going to show you the standard way um, unscrew your line uh, you want to lower or go down, you're trying to find the pilot line for down on your main boom. Once you find that, you mark that boom down. Same with your dipper. You want to find the dipper line here where it's pushing it in towards you. And again, take it off. Usually it's the opposite, so probably this one here. You take it off. When you move your dipper towards you like this, your joystick, you will see it squirt out. You can move, mark that. Those are the four hookups that we're going to pass through our valves. We're also going to hook up a tank line to one of the valves, not both, and we're going to hook up a pilot line. We're going to tee off the pilot line somewhere for the other one. Some of the 
systems don't have a pilot pump. They actually have a, a uh, regulator in this valve here in your main thing, and they steal pilot pressure off of the main flow pump instead of having its own pump. I work both ways, so you might be tapping in up here and not having a pilot pump. Um, you can always look for uh, the pilot pressure test line, uh, which you, you put a gauge on if you're a mechanic to check the pressure of the pilot uh, here or there. And once you find that, you can just get a quick coupler like they use for the gauge, hook it, and that can hook into your system. So the next video is going to be how we put our lines through our simple pilot valves with IDIG Best. Thank you. I'm trying to make this easy. Let's start with the main boom valve is the small red one is all it does with the main boom it, you just have to tee in anywhere uh, to those two these are number eight o-ring boss it comes with two hoses uh, there's several ways you can look at the pictures that we hook in but that's all there is to that it's uh, as I always say pretty simple I think um, from that point we're gonna look at the uh, stop boom valve that's the blue one doesn't look too blue in this picture but is all we're doing is this line right here is the uh, dipper in this case and dipper going towards the machine is the one you're finding like we talked about earlier and you're going to remove this line right here and uh, you're going to just run that line through the bottom of the valve and right out the front of it right to the dipper so we're replacing it like that okay um, same with the boom down um, that's this line right here and you can see we're just going to, uh, basically we're going to screw it here and screw it into here. We're going to remove the old line and we're just going to run it through it. So as you see there, now it just runs boom down. It says J on the bottom for joystick. It's joystick side. And uh, runs straight through it back to your pilot. So we unscrew the pilot line. We hook it into there. And then we run our hose down to there. Um, then... This line also has a tank line. So you've got to put a T in your tank line. Uh, your joysticks have a tank line, or you just tap in. There's all kinds of tank lines. It's always easy to find. But you have to get a T to go to the uh, GIC number four uh, and, and to run that up there to the tank line. So then we've got our red pilot valve for the auto steer for the bucket. And uh, like we talked about before, we uh, found the dump and curl. <coughs> And it's the same same thing. You've got the line here that runs in from the bottom of the joystick. Uh, we're just going to uh, intercept that line on this end or that end. doesn't matter. So you're just going to delete it out of there. And we're going to run it through here. And it, it's going to come out the bottom there and right back to here. It's kind of a funny looking little line there. Um, but that's it just passes through. And it'll say uh, Joy D. I believe this one's dump. And... That's the top one here, so it comes down, Joy D, and they actually switch in the valve and they come out the bottom here to P or Pilot D for dump. Okay, so that just goes right back in there. Then same on the bottom, as we're doing the curl side, so this is the line for that. You can see from the joystick, so we've just intercepted it here, run in there, and out the top to there, so this line deletes here. Uh, and that's 99% that's we got one last line, you've got Pilot Pressure. And that's a black solid line we send you. It's a higher pressure than everything else. It's not the blue slip-on hose. But you just tee it into the pilot line. Now, you can do it from the joystick lines coming out. Um, you can go down here to the pilot pump and pick it up. So we're just showing it from the pilot pump here. and We're just teeing in there. Uh, but wherever's comfortable, just tee your pilot line in. So pilot pressure into the red valve, the big one. And we're just passing dump and curl as it's marked through. So we're just unhooking the line and passing it through. Same with the uh, blue valve, the boom stop. We're just coming in from the joystick, passing through boom down, and dipper stick or, or crowd in. Those are the two from that, and we're running a tank line out the side that says T for tank, and teeing in these two lines here. So we've got plenty of pictures and stuff online for you to see. Uh, any questions, feel free to call. We're up seven days a week to help you. Thanks.